Are you, are you going to ask me questions? Yeah, well, I'll ask you. Put me on the spot. Um, are you coming in? I'll come in the shot. Are you coming in the shot? I'll come in the shot. So if I, if I, uh, am I in the shot? Yeah, you're me? fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's perfect. The gap between you is dead centre. Okay. Right then, Dad. Oh. oh. That's How my day. That? That, no, that's that, my. Who's, yeah. I'm supposed to be interviewing you. We're having an right. argument over who's interviewing now. Listen. It's my day today. It is your day. But you did ask me to come over and interview you. So will you just quieten down for a few minutes? Right. <laughs> We've come here to Nestcliffe today for you to do a very particular route. Yeah. Yeah. And and the reason for coming here is because you are 72 and you've been really keen to climb an E7 in your 70s. Yeah. Because obviously yeah. 70s and 7 go together yeah so the route that you've chosen is um, <laughs> what's it called <laughs> Tom Bowler <laughs> a couple of dickheads you two are <laughs> so the route the route we've it, come to do is called Tom Bowler you see there and, we go uh, I'm 72 just 70 so this is a just E7 so it, it makes sense Absolutely, to, uh, absolutely. I mean, Every, everybody at home now will be saying that makes perfect sense. I mean, I haven't graded at E7, and everybody else has graded at E7 because I've hardly ever been here. So, um, E7 was, you know, w that didn't require fantastic strength, which I haven't got. Um, it was <laughs> perfect, perfect. So, so, tell us a little so, bit about the climb then. What sort of a climb is it? It's all on the legs, it's feet. Yeah. So it's in a it's in a it's in a corner, feature. yeah. There we go. Yeah, the yeah. corner that's so sitting have, at the bottom. You'll of. have seen obviously the fourth the uh, sorry the filming from the top. It's this fantastic square cut vertical corner yeah. at Nestcliff. Um, yeah. There's loads of them. They're brilliant lines, brilliant lines. And in terms of the texture of the rock, what makes it so sort of awkward and what sort of challenging to climb? Uh, it's quite uh, soft red sandstone, and it's always a bit scrittly and um, it's in bands so the bottom band tends to be not so good but the top band where the crux is the rocks much better so you actually feel a little bit more secure when you're bridging um, but the hardest thing is to keep your feet you know um, free of all the little microscopic yeah. bits yeah so obviously in terms of how the climb went from your perspective we can all watch the video and we can see it as a third party but how does it? How did it feel to you? Do you want to talk us through from the start, and then kind of what you what you were feeling, how the, the sort of the gear went in, what was going through your mind as you climbed up? Well, when I top roped it, it felt really horrible and insecure. Um, and when you lead, you, you get into the zone, and you're able to get into the zone because just below the crux is um, three or four really good runners. The main problem is that if you fell off the crooks above the runners, you might catch your leg in the rope and tip you upside yeah, down. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, well, you know what happens when you get tipped upside down, you can hurt yourself. Uh, so that was my main concern because you say, oh, well, you just jump out, but when you, when you fall off something that's got nothing to hang on to, you can't just suddenly just jump out. You just parachute straight down uh, but without a parachute um, so it was just getting into the mindset and when I did it I was surprised how pumped my legs were um, but the gear is very very good um, yeah, yeah you're obviously not going to hit the ground and um, yeah I mean as I said I didn't grade it E7 but on on the UKC and the locals, I mean, the locals know what they're talking about, um, graded at E7, even though originally, apparently, it had a peg halfway through the crook sequence at the top, which wasn't very good, but it was a nice sort of stabiliser and something to, phew, thank God for that, but it's not there anymore. And um, the, uh, the locals have sort of got used to the fact that you're gonna take the fall and um, the, the gear is good.
so they're not replacing the peg. Yeah, you, you talked a little bit about um, your, your legs being tired, and I know basically earlier on today when you initially had a look at the route, you changed your boots a couple of times to yeah. sort of, you know, what, what was the, what was the reason for that? Um, I started off um, with my soft chimeras, uh, they're very well worn, but you get fantastic feel. So for smearing, they're absolutely brilliant. But they, they were just a bit tiring on my legs, on you know your big toe. Uh, just I just felt I needed a little bit more support, and that's why uh, I put the vapors on, which uh, are obviously stiffer and um, you know just giving me that extra bit of support. And these, these are well worn in, so I've got the smearing capabilities on them as well. Um, I wouldn't like to do it in a pair of stiff boots. I think, mm -hmm. you know, although you get a lot of support in the stiff boots, you just don't get that feel on this, this sort of rock, because you do need to feel it. Yeah, I mean, uh, sort of talking through the crook sequence above the gear, because you do plug some uh, wires and some cams in at a break, and then you have to go quite a distance then above that and yeah. there doesn't seem to be much to hold on to at all uh, when, you, when no, you're moving got up through that section. Totally reliant on your on your feet. Um, apparently some people, the old peg placement's got a little tiny crimp and there's a little tiny crimp next to it and they power up on the on those crimps and then yeah. get in a bridging position. Yeah. yeah. But I just felt uncomfortable trying that. I just thought fall off that and I couldn't get my feet right so that's why I, I went into that span mm -hmm. behind my back and pushed so I could get my feet up quickly um, and uh, just just get all the weight on my feet because there isn't anything to hang on to. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's a real technical exercise. up here. I'm not up yet. I'll have to clean up this stuff up here. But, uh, As I say, I'm pleased with that. And so the next sort of eight or nine years now, I understand, is going to be really devoted to the E8 at 80. E8 uh, at 80, scheme. yes, yeah. I've got yeah. to find an easy E8, yes. Um, <laughs> that's what everybody says. This, this, um, this trend is going to get harder. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to do that. Um, I'd, li I'd like to do an E7 in different areas. That's why, I mean, some of the lakes E7s, uh, your E7s for instance, are nails. I couldn't, I couldn't do those. So you've got to, I'm a, I'm a technical sort of delicate climber. I'm not. So you're saying I'm non, he's saying I'm non-technical yeah, and non-delicate. You, you, eh? You're not, you, you're not very good at, at this sort of stuff. <laughs> you, you are a hauler. You, you have developed power not to go on slabs. <laughs> and there you have it, <laughs> eh? Yeah. 
Oh, well, well done. Thank you. Um, and what are, your, what, what are your plans for the rest of the weekend? Plans for the rest of the weekend is uh, you can go on any route you want. I don't think I, I want to. <laughs> it's very humid today. <laughs> it is very humid. It's just about to rain, I think. Um, so, yeah, just the, the lines here are just absolutely brilliant. And it's such a contrast to being in the lakes. It's almost like um, climbing in a gymnasium. You know, it's two minutes from the road, two minutes to the top of the crag to fix up a, a yeah. rope to clean a yeah. route or, or whatever. Yeah, and certainly that is massively different from the, the you know, a, a mountain experience whereby you've got an hour's walk in, a giant sort of steep trek round the top of the crag, a faff around in a load of heather and bracken to find the top and rig ropes and abseil down. You know, the, just being able to walk around to the top, put a rope around some trees, you know, it, it's, it's massively it's uh, sort of beneficial it's, it, if you want to get some uh, volume of climbing done. And it's part part of the enjoyment, the wide spectrum of modern climbing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just brilliant. I mean, and none's better than the other. I mean, on Monday, we were up at Scarfell and Craig did his uh, a new route up on Scarfell. And um, he's graded that E7. But... <sighs> It's not an E7 for me. <laughs> um, well, as you yeah, said, each, each, each to their own. Horses for courses. Yeah. Horses yeah. for courses. Um, yeah, I mean, we could go on for hours, but, you know. But we won't. We won't. We'll save you that for yeah. another video. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Brilliant. Yeah. Super. Well done, team. Right.